Okay. For over 100 years, Robert has been blamed for every type of misconduct. There are many theories about why Robert behaves the way he does. Some say it is voodoo. Some say that it is an ancient curse. Still others insist that Gene Otto's ghost has returned to the doll he loved so much. Or that it is something to do with the fact that the house at 534 Eaton Street was already haunted before Gene and Robert shared it with Gene's death in 1974. In 1903, Robert was given to the four-year-old Gene Otto. As Gene grew up, he blamed everything bad on Robert. Every type of misdeed, treachery, and mischief. By the time that Gene was married and a successful artist, Robert had taken the blame for a lifetime of error, sin, and folly. By then, Robert's face had changed and his eyes had become more changeable and expressive. For years, Robert had seen and heard, been moving around, shifting positions, and even giggling behind people's backs. Although well-worn, Robert had not mellowed with age. Even the fort cats, where he currently lives, keep their distance when staring at him. It used to be that people just talked about Robert's change and shenanigans, but these days they have been sending more and more cards and letters to Robert, some to apologize and some demand apologies. Robert seldom replies, but he does like keeping his fan mail. If he should notice lots of things going wrong, just blame it on Robert. Well, we want to thank you for letting us take pictures with you, and hopefully we'll eventually come back and see you eventually, Ness. What do you think? Uh, take care, Robert. Uh, we appreciate your company, and um, we hope that memories keep you from being lonesome, like they do with the rest of us. <laughs> so, we will see you later. Bye!